Welcome to Ruby Hollow, our 1.20 Let's Play, where we finally have our cherry blossom wings. We got these last time in the end, where we fought the dragon and the wither. And we made this project board of all the things I want to get done soon. I think today we definitely need to go see the wizard who is staying in our inn, and helping us solve the mysteries of Ruby Hollow. But before we do that, I want to do some building. I want to complete our sugarcane farm build, since we kind of left it half done. It is over this way. We have the actual sugarcane farm, we just haven't built on top of it yet. So if we go just through here, oh it's so nice being able to glide around now. Even if we don't really have rockets to actually fly. Okay, so sugarcane farm is down here. It's looking so cute. I'm just not a fan of the trapdoor in the ground. So we need to do a build right here. If we have a look at this area from a distance, so the sugarcane farm is here. I feel like it needs to be tall, just to kind of balance everything we've got going on in the mountains. So I was thinking we do a windmill and let's make it on theme and do a flower windmill. So we'll make the propeller part kind of like a cherry blossom flower. Maybe the very center could be something like one of these and then we'll kind of go from there. We definitely need lots of cherry wood and leaves though, so we'll start by collecting some of that. We also need a top up of azalea leaves and we'll have to go to the nether for a top up of crimson. I love that we can use shulker boxes now for the first time though. It'll be so much neater being able to put all of our supplies in here and then just go to the building site. But let's get our gold chest plate out and now we'll be able to just kind of glide right over to our nether portal. This is so handy. Right, off we go. We are safely back from the nether and I think we're ready to build. So we're going to make a windmill here with the trapdoor going down in the middle. And it's going to be a very cherry blossom floral windmill but let's start with jungle wood around the bottom. Just for the bottom layer or two. And we'll go around in kind of a circle shape. I think this is about the correct size and I think it'll make the most sense of the door to be over here. It's not the front, but it's at the side where the land is most flat, so we'll be able to path from over here. But let's start mixing in this with some of the cherry logs. And of course we're stripping them. I think the last layer of colour we'll do is cherry planks, and then we'll start using bone blocks for the rest. So basically most of the windmill will be made out of bone, but the base will be pink. And maybe on each side we do a little shape like this. That'll definitely do for the base, so now let's go in with our bone blocks. Next we will work on the roof, which we've got a jungle lining, and then we'll do a slight purple gradient. Starting with magenta terracotta, and then we'll go into stripped crimson and crimson planks. That looks good, this is a good structure. I see a single bone block there that needs fixing though. That is definitely going to bother me, but other than that I think we're ready to do the propeller and the details. Basically the fun part that makes it cute. So we'll change out this and then we'll get going with that. So beginning with the propeller we'll make a cute little terracotta flower in the middle and then branch out making the props from there. Then we're on to the final details, we'll do some of these redstone lamps for windows and of course leaves, lanterns and flower pots. And that is our big cherry blossom windmill, at least from the outside. I've started adding a few little flowers and leaves but I want to do more stuff around it. So I did want to add a path but there's kind of snow in the way, I'm not sure what to do about that. Obviously we can just replace it but I don't know what happens when it snows next. I've never really dealt much with snow in Minecraft so I might have to look into that and for now I'll just do a little bit of this over here. So we won't connect the path fully to anywhere just yet. I like the moss vibe so we can definitely do that a little bit more. Then I would like to add more flowers but especially these little cherry blossom ones. And last but not least, we might like to mark our sugarcane farm with some actual sugarcane. 
That is looking cute and now we will work on the inside. We'll make this into a spruce floor and then also have a level above. Okay, this is where we're at so far. It's a very odd stair design, but I could not for the life of me figure out a good way to do it. This area is a little too short for a staircase going up, but we also couldn't do a trap door with a ladder because the top floor is smaller than the bottom floor, so it'd just intersect with this. And I really didn't want to have a pillar with a ladder like in the middle, but it's okay. We'll just have this funny little cozy design with the bookshelves. I thought they might be good because we use sugar cane to make paper for books. So it's a little bit on theme. So we'll do books here, then here we'll do chests for any overflow storage from the sugarcane farm. And over here, maybe we'll put some actual sugarcane down. That could be kind of fun. And we can hide the water at the back here. Okay, I can't think of a way to put water in the middle, so we'll just have bamboo. And we are officially done with the interior all decorated. So we've got our beautiful cherry blossom windmill over the top of our sugarcane farm and when we come in we just have this adorable little room with sugarcane and bamboo growing. It says sugarcane farm with the trap door to downstairs and then coming back up we have all this extra storage for sugarcane overflow of course and we do have an upstairs although it's not my best effort because we will literally never come up here but it is this random little room with some more storage and with that all done we can tick it off of our project board so we have completed our sugarcane farm build it'd be nice if we could do a strike through the text but i don't know if that's possible so we're just gonna reset Eventually we'll make every single one of these blank and by then I'm sure we'll have more to add to it. And now I want to go see if the wizard has any info for us. So if you missed it, we went to a woodland mansion, we found a wizard and he's come to stay in our inn. He said he will use his wizard magic to hopefully help us solve the mysteries of Ruby Hollow. Which is this book in Lecton over here. Ever since episode 1, some kind of creature in this world has been writing to us through this book. And I want to finally know who it is. Nobody around here seems to know. I don't think it's Gonzalo or any of the villagers. But we gave the wizard time to investigate, so let's go see him. Mr. Cassius, wizard, are you around? Oh, you are. Hello. I was wondering if you've had any luck like, finding out who's writing to me in the book. Uh, no, but that seems kind of obvious now that you say it. I will try that. I must say, I feel a little silly for not checking under the book yet. But we'll see if the wizard's right. Maybe we'll need to dig down under here. Oh, or not? Oh my gosh, there's a trapdoor. Do you think it's safe? I mean, I guess it is. They're probably just living down there. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a cherry grove cave. Oh my gosh. Hello, a pink LA. Wow, okay, it's nice to finally meet you. Thank you. I did see what you wrote in the book though, that you were hoping your kind would return here. Uh, well, all the allies I've seen are trapped by pillagers. I can help. I'll find them for you. I've seen some pillager outposts from a distance before. I bet some of them have the pink allies trapped in there. Uh, let's see. I guess this doesn't need to be hidden anymore since it was hidden from us. Okay, let's grab our stuff and prepare for a bit of a journey. I can't believe we solved the mystery though. All along, there were cherry blossom allies living in Ruby Hollow. Hopefully, we can bring them back and make our new friend happy. Okay, I am ready. We don't have enough rockets to fly the whole way, but we do have a couple. We found our first pillage outpost. Of course, there's no guarantee it has any allays or pink allays, but let's go have a look. I do see one of the cage thingies. Oh, I see a pillager. And there's a banner guy. Let's just not go near him. Okay, oh, there's allays and they're pink. Okay, first of all, I'm actually just gonna go in here. 
might as well loot it while we're here, right? And all useless. Absolutely typical. Hello, though? Friends? Friends? Come over here. Oh, oh, there's so many. Fly away, fly away. I don't know if the allies are following me. Oh, here's one. Oh my gosh, why is there a creeper? This is not what I want right now. Oh, you move. I don't think the other one made it out. We're going to have to go back. We'll just run in and run out. Hello. Come on. In the boat and off we go. They're so precious. Let's take these two home and then we'll go to another outpost. Come on, friends. I left our new friends temporarily in the fishing house and set off in the opposite direction. And we've found our second outpost that I'm aware of. This one looks a lot more substantial. There's a lot of these little cages. Oh, hello, golem. I will free you. Is the golem meant to help? Yes, he does. That is so fun. Get him. And again, we'll check the loot. And again, there's nothing good. But look at this. We have two more pink LAs. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, and there's another two over here. This outpost is great. Take this, please. Ow. And is everyone following? Yes, we need to get out of here. We're going to take you guys back to Ruby Hollow. Let's go. So not only have we solved the mystery of Ruby Hollow, we had freed the Ruby Hollow allies and brought them back to Rosie. Now they can live together peacefully where they belong. I guess now that we know the history of this place and we've helped Rosie bring her friends back, there's not much more to do. That is except for our extensive list of builds. We still have our project board up here of course, but we can certainly knock this one off the list now. Perfect. And we'll get going on the rest of these next time. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.